Really? You know, Better I choice. used to love Abbott and Costello, he said. Yeah. Vaudeville was never this good, he added, suggesting the GOP debates have been comedic. Well, it's natural comedy too, but as far as uh, Hillary being the best choice, uh, doesn't surprise me for a rich person to say that. Of course, the rich person is not going to say Bernie Sanders because the rich person is too damn stingy and greedy to admit that he should be paying most of the taxes. The Constitution and uh, help the, the poor. Uh, yeah. constitutional element that made the income tax. Yeah. Says he who makes the money pays the tax. It's a progressive tax. Which is the most make more money, you pay more tax. Which is the most fair tax system you can ever invent. If you make more money, you pay more taxes. It's it's logical. Well that's why no no conservative likes it. It's logical. Yeah. You haven't heard anything logical from the Republican debates, have you? No. You also haven't heard anything about the economy, the job market, the veterans, the poor, uh, uh, the plight of the poor, the plight of the middle class. It's, it was all about, it was the same thing. It was all about immigration and the military budget. You know, and they're all tough guys, but none of them are veterans. But they're all tough when it comes Boy, to yeah. war. With your kid. With it's your kids. With my kid and your kid. Remember that? Remember that banner? We're not boots on the ground. We're human beings. Soldiers. Yes, we're we're we're, we're husbands. We're wives. Yeah. We're parents. Yeah. We're do uh, sons and daughters. Yeah. We're human beings. We're not boots on the ground. Yes, right. Which is true. In her primary campaign against Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, Clinton has pushed back against concerns among some liberals that her time in the Senate, representing New York, left her too close to Wall Street. Bankers, a notion that Buffett's appearance was aimed at allying. Clinton Aid said she would provide more details in the new year on how she would push for higher taxes on the wealthy beyond the framework of the Buffett rule. Some of her signature domestic spending proposals, including plans to curb student debts and rebuild roads and bridges, would be paid for by raising taxes on the wealth. Yeah, not raising taxes to uh, to a lousy uh, 35 or 40 percent. Raising taxes like they used to be when Eisenhower was around. You know, uh, uh, before Reagan screwed everything up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Reagan, the uh, Hollywood actor who was said to be a lousy Screen Actors Guild president and uh, a very good puppet in the White House. Absolutely great puppet. Like uh, G. W. Bush. Yeah, he too. Yeah, he too. Very good. Well, he, uh, Mr. G. W. Bush, uh, put us in a hole financially, et cetera, et cetera, and Obama is getting the blame. Everything's Obama's fault. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. You sound like Fat Albert there for a second. Yeah, yeah, Obama gets the blame for everything. I would like to correct one thing, though. Under the Obama administration, what they've been doing, and et cetera, they brought back a lot of the jobs that went bye-bye, 2007, 2008, under Bushy Boy. But unfortunately, they have not brought back all of them. There are today in the United States approximately 93 million people 
out of work. Wow. The actual unemployment rate could be about 22%, whereas it's down to 5%. But that's because all these people out of the work out of the workforce can't find jobs. They're no longer getting unemployment insurance. They're not in the numbers. They're not in the numbers. They're not accounted for anymore. They're not accounted for. Because That's they've correct. given up. They've given up. They're getting, they're getting welfare or and whatever. And then you got the other problem. Yeah. The big paying jobs that went bye bye. Yeah. Didn't come back. Oh, you mean all the manu well, all the manufacturing jobs are most likely not going to come back. This did not happen in Europe unless you you tariff the hell out of those products when uh, when they when they when they try to bring them off the cargo ships. Well, what the hell do you expect if you make laws that allow the corporations to do what the hell they want? They're going to do it. They do it because they can. There's trillions of dollars offshore right now that they will not bring back into the United States because they don't want to be taxed. Right. The and, they're, and they're not they're not taxed because they pay off those little darlings in Washington. That's those Republicans to keep it that way. That's correct. They you know? like it, baby. They like and uh, it. you know, uh, what's that 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 uh, that funny face that um, Mitch McConnell always makes that uh, we we just can't afford. Everything is we can't afford to help veterans, the poor, the middle class. Can but they, we can throw more money at the military. <clears throat> but they, they can afford to throw money at the military. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, and, and to give corporate wealth fair yeah, yeah. subsidies to the rich. Yeah, yeah. They have the money for that. Oh, indeed we do. Oh, oh no, sorry. for Oh, food stamps, veterans, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, um, um, uh, a healthcare system where where everyone can see the doctor, no matter how poor they are. Oh, wow, well, okay, we can't afford that. Oh, we don't have any money for that. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. No. And of course, that is forgetting that the uh, uh, near uh, over two thirds of the economy is is uh, pushed by consumer spending, of course. Now, if the right. consumer doesn't have the money, what happens to the economy? It plummets. Even Henry Ford understood that. That's why he started paying his people five bucks an hour. It plummets. So they can buy his cars. Because if you if you think intelligently and logically, uh -huh. a happy, healthy employee is a productive employee. The yeah. happier and healthier they are, the more they love their job, the more... Productivity is not a problem in America. There's a lot of productivity. The problem is it ain't getting rewarded. Well, that's down the, below. Uh, yeah, but rewarding is the incentive for productivity. Yeah, but it's not there anymore with the corporations. That's where they cut. I mean, if you were, if you were, if all, if you were getting um, low pay, and all of your money completely was going to bills. You're not gonna like your job very much, and you're not gonna you're not gonna really give a shit about your job performance. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I would hate their guts every time I went to work. Corporations will get rid of you and they get somebody cheaper. Okay, That's all. whatever. That's what they do. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. You still hate their guts. All right, we're gonna. Oh, take, I hate their guts. All right. We're gonna take a break for lunch. We'll see you in the next video. Well, let me say this again. Yeah. That did not happen in Europe. Because Europe has a better way of treating its workers. Uh, employee-wise, I mean employer-wise, and government. And wage wise, increases. All, all the way around, yeah. Northern Europeans are happier, are much happier people. Do you yeah. see... Do and you, they got six weeks vacation, too. Do you see... Those lazy do you, bastards. Do, do you see Scandinavians uh, uh, trying to knock knock the door down to come to the United States? No way, to, Jose. To immigrate to the United States? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't see Northern Europeans and Scandinavians desperate to come here. Hell no. They're, 
they'll be crazy. They'll be they'll be fools. Absolutely. You know. Um, anyway, we'll see it. We'll see you next next video. You know. They have a family capitalism. Well, it's yeah, it's know? not a crony capitalism. Yeah. It's it, it's democratic socialism, but it's positive. It's it's it works. It's proven. You know. And and it and, and and that's crap about the population being small and you know. Of course it is. Not applied to the United States. That's bullshit. Of there. All right. We'll see you.